to stay up to date with me on everything, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. It's at JoshWRB and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you're new because that's the best way to stay up to date with all my videos right when they come out. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josh WRB. Okay, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. I do polls every week that gives you a chance to vote for what I see for review. So this week, All Eyes on Me won the poll. So I went to go and see that last night. And when I got there to buy my ticket, it was completely sold out. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> like, I didn't think this one through. I see movies every week. This is the first time this has happened to me in a long time. So I will see that later on, uh, hopefully this weekend and review it early next week for you guys. But because uh, It Comes at Night was in second place, I made sure that I saw that, that it started like 10, 15 minutes before I got there. But the movie had just, just started because previews are a half an hour long nowadays. So um, I only missed the first like two minutes of the movie, but I saw the opening credits and what happened right before that. So I actually, I don't even think I really missed too, too much. Uh, I really want to see the very, very beginning of this movie to see how much I actually did miss of it, which kind of really sucks because this movie is a slow burn and every subtle detail really matters to this story. This movie is like a masterclass of like filmmaking. The filming techniques in this movie are so perfectly done. Movies like this just get me really excited. Like the subject matter is very dark, very dreary, and it leaves you uh, leaving the theater feeling very not good. <laughs> there's, there's so many cool parts to this movie. Like the score only comes in like very tastefully and just to like add to a, the suspense or the tension or the drama of a scene and then it completely goes away and it goes away for a long time and then there's absolutely nothing there's just like really loud sound effects of like the forest or birds chirping or just like them walking like the the sound mix in this was so good because there's not much going on on screen but the sound was so high in the mix, like just them like walking around the Foley and stuff, it made it seem more tension filled and scary because you're like, holy crap, like something could be really loud in a second and it could really scare you. So like the tension in this movie the whole time is is up there. It's done so well. And I, I'm so happy that I did see this movie because just the whole tone of this movie and how it was filmed is really overly how I want my game night short film to kind of have not it, not the exact same tone but like just how it was filmed there was some scenes in this movie that it was following characters but at some points in the movie it felt like the camera was this like weird entity of itself because it was so fluid moving and the way it went in from like out of a scene right into a scene and followed someone and then like the oneers in this movie were just so good. The actual technique of making a film, this, like all the film technique in this movie was flawless. The main character played by Joel Edgerton, oh man, like so well done. If you haven't heard anything about It Comes at Night, the synopsis is secured within a desolate home as an unnatural threat terrorizes the world. A man has established a tenuous domestic order with his wife and son, but this will soon be put to the test when a desperate young family arrives seeking refuge. The whole time I was thinking about like The Walking Dead, that whole universe, it's post-apocalyptic. This one is post-apocalyptic, but it's like a smaller story. And like if The Walking Dead could get anywhere near this scary tone and this scary feeling and the like dread of like killing another human and like the fact that that actually weighs on people and like in The Walking Dead, it, everyone's so desensitized to everything. The Walking Dead could get anywhere near how this movie makes you feel when you're watching it. It would just be like such a better show. It's not an easy watch by any means because it is, um, it's not one like I will want to watch this one again and probably again and again not because of the stuff that happens that makes you feel really bad but like just i want to dissect this movie and just every scene i want to see why they made the decisions they made and like everything you could tell was very planned out 
I don't know if this review was helps you see this movie or not. But I'm I'm really happy that I ended up seeing it. Uh, if you are a fan of horror movies and just like slow burn dramas as well, this one is definitely for you. Go and see this movie. Like it's so crazy how it ends because then the credits are rolling and the whole theater was just like, whoa. I've never seen a theater so like whoa like what the f just happened and like everyone got up in s like slow motion and walked out really slowly because the movie was just like weighing on all of us so heavily when we after it it ended we're just like holy f like what just happened it's one of those I i'm gonna be thinking about this movie for a while after this so this one's getting five and a half out of six from me. It is so good. Like, I, I'm thinking about other possibilities of what the story could have meant. And I'm diving way too far into this. I'm down the rabbit hole from this one. I I, I love movies that make you think like this, that, that make you want to be better at filmmaking too this one just I, I can't wait to see it again. This is definitely going in my collection. It comes at night, guys. So I'm sorry that I messed up and didn't see All Eyes on Me. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I am going to put out a poll and make sure I see the winning movie next week. I will make it up to you guys and see All Eyes on Me uh, this weekend or early next week for review as well. So next week you'll get two reviews. Uh, actually, I think next week you might get three reviews because I might be seeing Cars 3 this weekend with the family as well. So I might... Uh, review that next week as well so uh, I think next week's gonna be jam-packed full of reviews and I'm going to try and get back on track with my other series as well so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button thank you guys so much for stopping by we'll see you next time don't forget to click this video I don't know which side it's on don't forget to click this video you see on the screen you might actually like it hit that subscribe button if you haven't already have a nice day guys